Hi everybody, this is Miss Cox, and I'm going to show you how to make it rain through coding. Yay! So, people are laughing at me from across the room. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing it says to do in this make it rain thing is to add more drops. So if I restart, right now I've got one drop. To add another drop, I'm just going to be adding numbers to my arrays here. So this variable has one value in the array. Let's say I add another value, maybe 300. And I'd add another one here. Maybe this one I want to be, you know, in a different position. I could change those positions. Um, but basically, well, maybe I want it to be like 50. That way it's kind of at a different pace. Oh, so here's the deal. I have some different raindrops. Maybe I want to add, let me add a third one. 200, or 100, 100. There we go. Now I got a couple different raindrops. Now here's the thing. It's kind of boring right now, right? I mean, rain doesn't just fall and then stop like that. Nor does rain really actually loop. But to make it look like the rain is actually falling, what we need to do is make it loop so that when it comes down here, to the bottom, it starts back up. So to do that, in this for loop here, where we're saying for variable i, blah, 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 as this loops, increase i. Well, in here, let's go ahead and add an if statement. If, if this, do this. So let's figure out what we need. If, in this case, we want to stop it once it passes the bottom here. That's the y-axis when the y-axis is um, at 400. So we're going to say if y positions i, remember we're talking about all those different i's that are changing, if that is equal to, uh, or well, actually we could say equal to 400, I'm going to just say greater than 400, that makes it kind of easy. If it's greater than 400, then y positions uh, bracket i equals, we could put 0, we could put negative 5, I'm going to just put 0. Now I need a semicolon and see if it works. Yes it does, look at that. There are other pieces to this like changing colors, um, you can make other things rain. <laughs> um, there are lots of different options. Um, you can even have it so that new drops are added when uh, you click. So those are all things that you can work on including. I'll add some tips in different videos on doing those different things, but for now here is kind of the basics of how you get it to actually start raining. I hope that helps you guys out.